hey, maybe it doesn't come to surprise to you that Windows is actually starting to roll out the start menu ads almost for everyone. If you have this update installed on your computer, which is KB5036980, then you should get ads in the start menu of Windows 11. I think it's really, really sad that at the end of the day, you still need to pay for the Windows 11 license key and you get the ads on the operating system and make Microsoft some side money to actually show you some advertisements on their operating systems. In this video, guys, I will show you how you can actually remove the ads from your computer. First, I will show you how you can disable all of the ads manually. And then at the end of the video, I will show you another really, really simple tool, which will help you to remove the ads on the system level or on the registry level of your computer. So make sure that you watch until the end for that exact tool. With that said, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel. And if you are interested in this desktop wallpaper, then make sure that you check out the first link in the video description. Now, some of the users are actually complaining that they have already seen the ads on their start menu, but some of them don't. Majority who don't see the ads are actually from the European Union and also the UK. At the end of the day, there still is a light at the end of the tunnel for some of the people living in different areas of the world. For example, is the European Union and the UK as well, which will have options to disable the ads on their computers. Yeah, let me show you first how you can disable the ads manually on the Windows computer. And let's first start with the start menu. So you should see the ads somewhere here on the start menu. And even if you go here to the search, you should see some of the ads present in the future releases of Windows 11. And this is how Microsoft will actually capitalize on by the end user. You should also see the ads somewhere here on the sign out area of the Windows 11. So let me show you first how to disable them on the start menu. Now, the first thing which you want to do is go here to the settings, and then you will go here to the personalization and down below you will select here the start menu. Now here make sure to disable, I pretty much disabled every single option here, but the key option to disable here is actually this one right here. Show recommendations for tips, shortcuts, new apps and more. So make sure that you actually disable this option right here for the start menu ads. Now let's move on to the notification area. So if you go here to the system in the settings app, click on the notifications right here. For example, if you don't want to see notification for a certain app, then I highly recommend to disable the notifications altogether for that exact app. And then at the bottom of this notification settings, you will see additional settings down below. Click on this and then make sure to disable pretty much every single option here. Let's move on to the advertising IDD. So if you go here to the privacy and security options, you can go here to the general settings and then make sure that you disable pretty much every single option right here as well. So the first, which is most important one, let apps show me personalized ads by using my advertising ID. So this is one important aspect or the setting which you want to disable to basically disable the ads on Windows 11 computer. Now we could potentially also in the future see some of the ads in the file explorer microsoft edge and many more so to combat the ads on such places you will basically need to download this tool which is called the ofgb or oh freak go back so this tool claims to disable all of the ads from your computer and if you want to get it i will also put a link for it in the video description down below i also found about this tool on this reddit post and it's a really simple app and it will disable the ads on the registry level of windows 11. if you go to this link you will see basically this releases link right here and you can download this tool in two versions first one is ofgbdaps.exe so this one will have all the dependencies and everything built in so this is why the file is so big in 170 megabytes and if you want more light version you can also download this one as well and it comes in just 185 kilobytes and then you will need to download this net 8.0 desktop runtime to use this version of this 
program. I will go with this first one and once you run it, you will see this screen which looks something like this. Keep in mind that it does not work on the ARM computers yet, but hopefully the developer of this app will eventually add the ARM computer support as well. Basically, once you launch the app, you will see this simple screen and you will be able to check mark all of the settings right here, like disable file explorer ads, lock screen tips and ads, disable settings ads, general tips and many more. And this is basically how you can disable the ads on your computer. So check mark every single option here then restart your computer and I believe you should be good to go. Now, one more important thing, which I almost forgot, is how to disable the ads on the lock screen. So if you go here to the personalization, you can also go here to the lock screen and make sure that you have here lock screen status set to none. So this is one important setting to be aware of as well. And this is pretty much it for the video, I believe. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the like button, subscribe to the channel as well well if you actually got the value from this video and uh, yeah at the end of the day have an amazing rest of your day and i will see you all in the next video peace